So I've spent a week with the ASUS ProArt P16. I've done some video editing on the device. I've started running some benchmarks and I have my initial impressions off of working off of the device for the past week. Some things that I like, some things that I don't like too much. And hopefully this will help you along the way with your buying decision. First and foremost, let's talk about my experience video editing on this device. So when I initially filmed the one week later of this device, I was not wildly impressed with it. It seemed to underperform in both Photoshop and video editing, especially compared to the PX13, which I saw some of the best Photoshop results that I've ever seen on my channel. And so this led me to be interested in doing more testing and more research on why this might be. So what I did is I sent that footage off to my editor and I said, you go ahead, start editing and I'm gonna dig deeper. I went ahead and dug deeper. I updated the system. I went ahead and changed some of the settings around, went ahead and ended up running optimized mode on whisper and then optimized mode on performance. And I saw increasingly better results. And I really think the major difference was getting all of the Windows updates up to date. So if you purchase this device, I highly recommend making sure it is up to date because immediately I saw a boost in performance I went from having a slow video editing experience unplugged from the power on battery life on whisper mode to a snappy and quick video editing experience. I went from a 47 minute and 45 second export time for the unboxing that I was editing of the P16 to a 29 minute export time. Now the export time while plugged into power actually stayed the same, which was kind of curious to me, but the export time while on battery power was substantially faster, almost twice as fast. So I'm very impressed with the performance now that I've got this machine up to date and really rocking. I spent three hours and 17 minutes editing and then exporting that project. And when I was finished, I had about 20% of battery left. Now, the next thing I took a look at was the Photoshop result. As you can see, I have well above an 8,000 on the Photoshop benchmark and increased performance for the 6K to 4K export. So much more impressed with this device than my initial thoughts on my one week later review, which I'm now updating and putting into the video. And if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the P16, you can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. This is a very raw video of my normal experience as I'm working through this device. So you're getting my real first impressions and experiences of this. And then my full review will come out in about a week or so. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the pen. So, so far, the pen compatibility with the ASUS Pen 2.0 is really good. Uh, it's a smooth experience. As you can see, the extra B-roll footage coming up on the screen, it has a really nice touch sensitivity. I like how when I push up against the display, because it locks in at a 45 degree angle, it doesn't unfold all the way flat to the table. It allows me to be simply use the pen on the screen and then have my hand here for keyboard shortcuts, which I like because if the screen went down all the way flat, I'd have to hold my hand behind the screen, for instance, on something like the Yoga Pro 9i or the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 uh, to keep the screen from falling back. So I really like that about the display is I can keep my shortcuts, I can use the dial, and uh, it creates a really nice photo editing, digital art experience uh, with the ProArt P16. Now, another thing that's really awesome is the upward facing speakers. Now for most, you know, audio gurus, uh, audio files, they call them or audio foes. I, I don't know. Anyway, people who really like audio, they're going to be wearing like super nice headphones, but if you don't happen to have a pair of headphones and you're on the go, the speakers are fantastic. You got large upward facing speakers. You have supportive bass speakers underneath the device. And so really, really good audio experience. Here's a sample so you can hear it for yourself. Now, the next thing I wanna point out is putting this into my backpack. Now, I actually have a Herschel backpack, which is rated for a 13 inch laptop. And no promises to your 13 inch backpack, but I have noticed uh, in testing this out that this will fit a bit snug into my 13 inch backpack, which I am super stoked about because I love this backpack. It's so concise and on the go friendly and that it fits my 16 inch ASUS ProArt P16 makes it much more reasonable for me to take this laptop on the go with me. So that 
absolutely rocks my socks that I can fit this laptop into my 13 inch rated backpack. So it actually makes sense for this laptop to be something I'm using on a daily basis. Cause otherwise I'd have to buy a completely new backpack and that would really annoy me because I like my backpack a lot. Now, in conclusion, I initially was nervous about this device, to be totally honest. I thought, why is it underperforming? I then went ahead and updated the device, changed some settings, and saw much better performance out of the P16. Performance that I had expected from the beginning when I first received and unboxed the device. So as this device sits right now, I'm extremely happy to see that it has great performance, solid battery life, on the go and i can't wait to run even more tests and show you guys more about the p16 so you definitely want to stay tuned check out the full playlist it'll be linked up at the youtube end cards and of course in the description below if you want to check it out to learn more to see if the p16 is the right device for your needs so what i'm curious about is the two other models the asus pro art p16 with the rtx 4060 and the ASUS ProArt P16 with the RTX 4070, and not 32 gigs of RAM, but 64 gigs of RAM. Is that the ultimate configuration for this device that will make it that perfect sweetness of slim, light form factor, solid battery life, and the amazing performance that I am looking for? I'm talking with ASUS to try and get a couple these two other models available so we can get full robust cut, robust? Robos, Robos T, full, ro full robust coverage of the Asus ProArt P16. But at the moment, I hope you've enjoyed my initial first impression one week later, and I can't wait to keep posting more videos about the Asus ProArt P16. So if you wanna catch more coverage of the Asus ProArt P16, definitely click or tap the screen here, as I'm going to be posting a ton more content on the entire series of ProArt devices. I'll see you in the next one.